All right, so I know a lot of you guys out there use the Elgato Cam Link 4K, and we know it supports 2160 by 30 frames per second. Now, I will say when Elgato introduced the 4KX uh, that supports a 4K at 144 frames per second, I thought to myself, I can connect my camera that shoots 4K 60 frames per second. And the nice thing that I've noticed about the Elgato 4X is it has optical input, which really had me thinking in terms of, can I use these quarter inch balance line outputs from my Rodecaster Duo with a stereo splitter breakout cord and plug that directly into the Elgato 4KX. So what, so what I want to do is give you guys an example of how things look in sound. Now, I will say I have a Panasonic GH5 M2 and I'm shooting in Vlog L uh, at 10 bits and then I apply a lot to pretty much all my videos. I use Motion VFX and Film Look and the LUT that I'm using is called Agate and the color space that I'm using is Vlog version 3. Otherwise, I was really sad to learn that I could not use the Elgato software to capture video onto my MacBook Pro's hard drive. I had to use OBS, which, you know, it did have a bit of a learning curve, but whenever I have a learning curve, what do I do? I just go to YouTube and that's what I pretty much did. And I was able to, to use OBS to adjust the resolution. I was able to adjust the frame rate as well as the video output uh, inside of OBS. I use QuickTime.movie files format as my recording format and my video encoder is Apple HEVC and my audio encoder is AAC. Otherwise, the quality that I use was large file size in OBS and I think that's about it. I was hoping to use the Elgato game capture software that I used in the past with my HD60S external game capture card, which is also by Elgato, but it looks like the 4KX is not compatible. Furthermore, the HD60S is not compatible with Apple Silicon Max. Otherwise, like the UI on the Elgato game capture software, I found it was a little bit more pleasing to use compared to OBS. Otherwise, I don't think I'll continue to use this setup simply because I find it a little bit more difficult to color grade my videos. I'm not sure how to check the video size recorded in OBS, but the video size is a much larger coming from the SD card from the GH5 M2. I tested a 59 second video and it was 1.37 gigabytes, while the video exported from the Elgato 4KX was 372 megabytes, uh, with both set to the same resolution at 3840 by 2160 at 59.94 frames per second. I decided to go with using the stereo splitter breakout cord plugged from my Rodecaster directly to the mic input uh, on the GH5 M2, so I really don't have to bother with syncing my audio. I do get noise from the camera, but it's nothing that Final Cut Pro voice isolation can take care of. Otherwise, yeah, that's all I have. I wanted to make this video. I didn't see any other YouTubers discussing this topic, and honestly, I'm not sure if anyone else actually cares about this. But if you do, thank you for watching to the end. I'll catch you in the next one. P.S. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Bye-bye.